hi everyone welcome to chendu.org in this video lesson i am going to show you how to use excel 2010 slicers and advanced pivot table features to create a dynamic dashboard before jumping into the tutorial i wanted to demonstrate what i have constructed this is a typical call center dashboard where we are doing analysis on multiple things for example we have listed all the top customers by sales this is a inbound call center where let us say you are having calls from customers and you will eventually convert them to sales and then you have also listed the represented by the sales they have generated and then the sales and calls by month so the sale amount is shown on the left axis and the number of calls received are shown on the right side and then the call duration distribution calls between 0 to 30 seconds and all the way up to 150 to 180 seconds this is just some random data so it may not make any sense for the real world but at least it shows valuable techniques and you can apply them immediately to your work <coughs> Now it doesn't seem like much fun just looking at these four static charts but they are not really static. Let us just say you are looking at all the four months and you want to understand what happened in November. If you click on the November all the charts immediately refresh showing you the data only for November. So the call distribution for November is here, top representatives are here, top 10 customers are here. Let us say you want to understand who are the customers in November, uh, the top customers in November but made calls between let us say one minute to one and a half minute and then again this slicer once you apply this thing here you can immediately see that different customer IDs and also the representatives and also the sales and the calls similarly you could just filter it by any customer or you could filter by any one representative or you can select multiple customers like this by using shift or control click options so this is a powerful feature introduced in excel 2010 called as slicers slicers will help you uh, visually filter the pivot tables but the, this slicer is actually connected to a pivot table p1 here but i moved the slicer over to the dashboard area so you can do the filtering from dashboard itself so this serves as a powerful analysis dashboard because you can immediately slice and dice the data to understand the trends that meet your criteria now imagine writing formulas for doing all this it would be too tedious and it would take forever for somebody to write a formula like that obviously there are some formatting issues for example these bars grow and shrink based on what you select but that is a small problem compared to so we can uh, clear filter from any of those slices I have purposefully removed the clear filter button on the top but you could restore it for example if you go to uh, slicer settings and enable the header option you will see this button so you could immediately clear the filter because I did not want to show the scroll bar in the demo I just removed the header part but you can do that You clear the filter you will be able to show everything and with a bit of simple macros you can even automate some of these jaw parts like clearing the filter by a simple button on top or something like that now let me just show you how I have constructed this dashboard this is the data again nothing fancy we have about thousand rows of information all random numbers uh, customer IDs ranging from C0001 all the way up to 15 and the duration of the call in seconds and the purchase amount how many dollars they have made the purchase for and the representative who handled the call and the date of call the call um, the date on which we received the call then what I did is I put this in a table let me just uh, expand the ribbon okay so I put this in a table and then I created four pivot tables from the same datum so let us just see the first pivot table this is the pivot table uh, for sum of purchase amount so these are the customers top 10 customers by the purchase amount now if you look at it here I have applied a value filter on top 10 and 
just set top 10 items based on the sum of purchase amount so we just see the top 10 customers from the data set but also what I did was I have added a slicer this slicer here from this pivot table it doesn't matter I could add it from any other pivot table that is there and then I have set the slicer connection not just to the pivot table p1 but all the other pivot tables that are there p4 p3 p4 p2 so what happens is when I select a value from this slicer all other pivot tables are also going to be filtered on that slicer so this is how we are selecting in one but everything else is also getting affected and that is kind of a very powerful way to analyze the data similarly I have created another pivot table p2 where the representatives and their sale amount are shown and I just sorted this by the sum of purchasing purchase amount in descending order the third one is just uh, total calls and total sales per month this is again based on the duration date of call but what I did was I grouped the date of call field on month and year okay the last one is duration now what I did is I added duration but I grouped the field here saying that starting to from 0 ending at 180 create groups at increments of 30 so for every half minute I get a group it's not really a, an exact accurate way of grouping the call durations but since my data is random you could see the normal distribution there uh, but if your data is something specific for example if you are in a high-end sales uh, kind of environment then usually the call durations will be longer and it is unlikely that you can close the sale in just 30 seconds but just fictitious data here so once all these four pivot tables are created what I did was I simply selected the pivot table and went to the options and inserted a pivot chart for example in case of customer data I just choose this uh, bar chart here and press ok and once this chart comes up I just rearrange the sort order so the topmost customer is on the top by format axis categories in reverse order this little thing ok once I did that I formatted the chart the important thing some of you might be looking is how do I get rid of these buttons if you go to analyze tab you can see this field buttons thing click on it to toggle the field buttons remove this and remove the axis this and add labels format data series and adjust the gap here to 25 percent and there you go pretty much everything else is there so this is the chart that we have in the dashboard and then all I did was I just control X on this chart so I cut it from here and paste it here some of you might be wondering how did I even get the slicer over here it it is created on the pivot table sheet right very simple again insert slicer and let us say we insert a slicer for years you can select the slicer and press ctrl x now the slicer is cut you can come to any other sheet doesn't matter and paste it the slicer is here even though the slicer is here it is actually filtering the data in the other sheet this kind of thing is not possible in either earlier versions of Excel in fact slicer itself is a new feature but the ability to filter data in another worksheet from a different worksheet is not possible you could still do it using formulas or a setting sheet and then link the formulas to that or maybe apply macros but it is a painful process but with slicers it's much more simple I wish Microsoft has actually added an option in the slicer options to move the slicer to another tab that was not there for example you could move the pivot table if you select a pivot table field this little thing move pivot table is available the same thing is true for charts too you select a chart you can uh, I think somewhere here yeah move chart thing is here so you can move the chart to a different worksheet but the slicers themselves are not movable so it seems like they cannot be moved but you can use this cut copy tip to move the slicers so that's how I ended up getting all these slicers onto the dashboard and then I used similar color coding for example customers are in blue representatives are in pink and sales are in sales per month are in green and the other thing is in 
orange so it's easier for you to visually correlate which filter maps to which one it's not really uh, anything magical here but what i find with this is that by putting slicers and charts on the same worksheet and linking them to multiple work multi all these slices are linked to all the pivot tables so here all of them are linked to all the pivot tables and this creates a very powerful playing field for you to understand the data the hidden trends as well as immediately analyze without having to do a lot of filtering or writing lengthy formulas it took me what uh, maybe 15 to 20 minutes to come up with the concept and another half an hour to create this dashboard of course i spent some time formatting and cleaning up a lot of things but the basic thing was ready in barely an hour and you can also come up with something like this very quickly using the slicers feature in excel 2010 one of the really power features powerful features in excel 2010 is slicers and i have really been enjoying using the slicers feature i hope you like this video and i encourage you to play with the slicers feature and try to move the slicer onto the dashboard worksheets or report worksheet so you can give the control to the end users so that they can filter the data in any way they see the only pitfall with slicers is that uh, the filtering is kind of tedious uh, if there are a lot of values in our case we just have 15 customers and five representatives but it is unlikely that you have just 15 customers you may have hundreds of customers in which case the slicer will end up having a lot of values and uh, the default behavior of slicer is you can only select one at a time which is good but not really optimum because in most cases you may want to select some uh, group of customers but the group option is not available immediately here whereas if you are in a data for example you could uh, you know use the text filters to select a wildcard kind of for example cu customer ID contains one or something like that but you can also use pivot table group option to group people into multiple meaningful groups and then create a slicer on that group field so that you see only relevant things so that's about it i hope you have enjoyed this little lesson from chendu.org go ahead and download the example file it is available on the url shown uh, in the in the description of this youtube video and enjoy the lesson thank you very much bye bye